this is Angie from Concord and Knight. Today I'm here to walk you through our January 2019 new product release. It's turnabout month here at Concord and Knight. Not only did we come out with a turnabout toolkit to get you started if you've never turned, but we've come out with all the different types of turnabouts we offer and new tools too. I will be sharing a few details about each product and I'm showing you some projects today, but be sure to check out each individual product page for more inspiring projects and even how-tos on how to use these products. Here is our first ever kit, our Everyday Bouquet Turnabout Toolkit. This kit is not only for crafters that have never turned before, but it is for all of you that are already turnabout pros too. The toolkit includes an exclusive stamp and die set that will not be sold outside of this kit. So let's unbox it. First, I want you to turn to the side and you'll see that it's got the name Turnabout Toolkit with our logo. This is so that you can stack it on your shelf and you'll be able to see the name of the kit on the side. Also on the very back are the contents of the kit, but let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay, so all you have to do is slide off this belly band and then open it up to see these fun messages from us. Right here it says open here for the good stuff. And happy crafting. Okay, so inside the kit, and these are in no, ran or no particular order, you get an adhesive remover, uh, you also get this little card that comes in the mail, and really that is to show you the different social media icons and where we're located. There's also a new hashtag, hashtag Turnabout Toolkit. We want you to use that so we can follow you on social media and see what you create with this kit. Okay, here is the exclusive stamp set. So it's called Everyday Bouquet Turnabout Stamp Set, and right there is the turnabout. You've got your everyday bouquet dies. You've got this turnabout jig. It actually looks like that. That's just the packaging that it comes in. So this is an original size jig. You also get four scored note cards and envelopes to go with it. And you get this full cartridge of um, repositionable adhesive, and then this instruction booklet showing you how to learn to turn. So when you open it up, there's a full page of instructions there, nine steps, and then you can also flip it to the back and it shows you how to embellish your cards with the dice as well. Okay, let me just show you a few projects that were made with the kit. I'm going to slide that over here. Here is a completed card. We've already done all the turning and just added that cute sentiment on top. Here is one where the turnabout is done all in one color of ink, tone on tone with the cardstock, and then we embellished it with the die cuts and a sentiment from the stamp set. Here is another one where we've done the turnabout in four colors of ink and then embellished it with the die cut and notice that we have puzzled those letters back in in a different color cardstock to give that some interest. And we've got this one here too. Now in the stamp set, there's this little, see that square image right here. That is what is making that background as well. So. For a, more details on this kit and to see it in action where I actually go through the all nine steps and stamp it out for you, visit the Everyday Bouquet Turnabout Toolkit product page for the full length video. We hope you have fun turning about with our new Everyday Bouquet Turnabout Toolkit. We have come out with new tools and are now carrying additional items in our shop to use when creating with our turnabouts. Be sure to click on the turnabout link at the top of our shop. Here are the items that we've added. We've got turnabout jigs, both the original and mini size. When you shop turnabout jigs, be sure to look at the drop down menu because there are different options to buy them individually or bundled together at a discounted price. We've got this turnabout alignment aid pack. This, these are 
alignment aids for all turnabouts made in 2017 and 2018. So it's a 26 pack of all other turnabouts. Now note that any turnabout purchased after January 9th, 2019 will include an alignment aid in it. These are just for turnabouts you, will, you have already purchased in the past. Okay, we've got the original size Misty we've added to our shop along with these white stickers to create a different color ruler if you should choose to want to do that. We've also got these repositionable adhesive dots. So this, there's full cartridge and a refill. And we are also carrying this adhesive remover that helps remove this adhesive from your projects. Be sure and watch the turnabout videos to see how all of these tools will help get you turning. Introducing our Birthday Basics Turnabout Bundle. We've heard your request for a birthday turnabout. This one is so festive. It's full of cupcakes, ice cream cones, balloons, party blowers, and more. It's designed to end up with multicolor images when you use four colors of ink. Let me show you. Keep in mind, it will come with its own alignment aid inside the packaging. And on the back of the packaging, it's going to show you what it looks like if you stamp it one time, two times, three times, or four times in four different colors of ink. And what I mean by multicolor images, see how the cupcake top is a different color than the cupcake base. Same with the party hats and blowers, so it's a fun mix of colors when you do your stamping. I'm just going to show you, scoot this over and kind of show you a little bit more about the dies also. Okay, so you've got this in the set, you've got the happy, which you can use the fallout letters from, and then you have this cute banner right here that says day. Now when you die cut the day, you can use this little bow to put on the ends of your banners there. Um, and also the little letters from the word day will fall out that you can use those individually on their own. Um, this little banner piece was designed so it die cuts another little banner pennant um, so that when you die cut the word day out, you can back it with another little piece of cardstock and you've already got the pennant die cut for you. So, or you can just use that on its own as well. So you can also take and put these individual little letters on top of this little panel if you choose to do it that way. Okay, now here you've got the little party hat with the top. If you die cut a bunch of these too, you could make like really fun confetti. So you've got a little party hat and the um, polka dots there come from the stamp set. It's that image right there. Now this little party blower works like our crafty turnabout dies do, where you've got the different little pieces so that you can get a multicolored party blower there. So you've got, the, I don't even know what to call them, the part that rolls out and rolls back in. And then like um, the base piece and another little color piece. Like I said, you get a multicolored one there. There is a large circle in the die which die cuts this large circle and the large sentiments like happy birthday, hooray, and best day ever fit inside that circle. You can also mask off the word day and replace it with your banner. It fits perfectly in between the best and ever so that you can embellish that with the die cut. It also cuts out this large circle that you could make into a balloon because there is a little balloon tie die included in the set as well. And then we've just taken those cute polka dots and randomly stamped the balloon. You could also take one of these little um, bows off and attach it to your balloon that way as well. So that is really fun. Now, one other thing I wanna show you because we love product coordination here is we, this also works with our birthday balloon stamp set. So if you use this die and with this stamp, you actually get this and it leaves a little border around it. And then in the stamp set, there's this little balloon tie that still fits in the die from this die set. So 
Like I said, we love product coordination and we wanted you to be able to cut out this balloon as well. Okay, now let me show you some really cute projects that were made with this Birthday Basics Turnabout Bundle. Here is a project where we've used four colors of ink and done the four rounds of stamping and then embellished the top with the die. Here is a more monochromatic with the great big balloon there as the focal point. It's still so cute with just a monochromatic color palette. Here we've mixed it up and just done a portion of our card, made the sentiment stand out by white embossing that and added the cute little party hat at the top. Here is another one where we've just used a portion of the turnabout that we stamped and then like I said, masked that off and added the banner in its place there and added the cute little bows on the end. And then here is one where the stamping of the turnabout is just tone on tone on our craft cardstock, which really makes this element pop out. And you've got your cute party blower and the confetti and a party hat. So super cute. Who is ready to celebrate with this Birthday Basics Turnabout Bundle? Be sure to tag us at Concord and Night so we can see all of your birthday card creations. Introducing Marbled Turnabout Background Stamp. This stamp is amazing. Not only are marble backgrounds really cool, but this one looks great stamped once, twice, three, or all four times. All in one color of ink, tone on tone, or up to four colors too. Let me show you what it looks like. It does come with its own alignment aid. And here's what it looks like if you just stamp it once twice in two colors, three times in three colors, and four times in four different colors. Isn't that so cool? I'm so excited about this. Okay, well let me show you how fun it can be too. So here is one that's done in like yellow tones. Here it is in like corals and pinks. And then you can even combine the two together. So you've got all of those all in one. Here is another example where you've got blue tones or teals, I guess. Then you've got greens that look really nice together. And then here it is stamped all four times in teals and blues and greens mixed together. Oh, don't you love it? Okay, let me show you some projects that we've made. Now you can do full backgrounds with these or you can even do some embellishing. So here is a sample and I don't, oh, yep, you can see the glimmer there. So one of our layers is actually gold embossed and mixed it with those yellows and pink, or yeah, yellows and corals. Here is the full background in the teals and blues and we just added that fun die cut embellishment off to the side. You can also die cut these out. Okay, so look at that fun marbled effect with our big heart die. That's from our heartstrings dies. And look, here's another one in gray tones. And we've just die cut this big hello from a marble background. Isn't that just so cute? Oh, anyway, besides me, who wants to marble all the things now? Tag us when you do. We want to see what you create. Here is our stitched turnabout stamp set. This is considered a double turnabout because there is an outside turnabout image, an inside turnabout image, plus they can be used together too. The design is an embroidery stitch, so you can create cards that look stitched even if you don't stitch. Let me show you. The stamp set will come with its own alignment aid. And on the back, it will show you what it looks like. So this is the turnabout together stamped just once, two times in two colors of inks, three times with three colors, and all four turns with four colors of ink. Now note below, this is if you just use the outer image. Okay, so you would peel this middle part out and only use the outside. 
and you it ends up looking like this and this is what the little turnabout looks like if you just use the middle image and not the outside so you've got so many options with this stamp set let me show you here okay like I mentioned you can stamp the whole thing together at one time the middle and the outside and this is in four colors of ink you can stamp just the outside and not do the middle. You can stamp just the middle, which is this cute little stitched, I don't know what I want to call it. Anyway, it's storable and it's cute and it's little. There's that one. Now, if you want to get crazy, it's really not crazy. It's really fun. You can stamp, you do your turnabout, the outside all in one color, and then the inside in different colors. So you can mix and match. There's so many different combinations you can come up with. Now, other things you can do with the stamp set, see there's this large heart. You could, if you just did the outside of the turnabout, then you can stamp your embroidered heart there in the middle. That's using that stamp. And then there's also options if you leave the middle open, you can use these larger sentiments in the middle. And then there's also this cute little stamp and that's what's stamped above and below the sentiment there. So there's a lot of options for just doing the stamping. One other thing to note, like I did mention, there are these larger sentiments that have an embroidered look. There is that cute little embellishment to embellish your greetings. Other things to note around the word so happy, so you can build on that. So there's so happy for you, so happy I know you, and so happy we're friends. So you can build on that so happy sentiment. Another thing to note is this large heart. We actually love product coordination here at Concord and Knight. So this large heart coordinates with our quilted heart dies. So if you own that, you can use the outside of that heart and you get that die cut. And then also when you die cut, there's a sentiment in here. Let's see, where is it? Stitched together in love that also fits inside that die cut heart. So you've got a lot of options and product coordination to go along with that. Let me show you some projects that were created with the stitched turnabout stamp set. So here's a cute one where it's all the same, it's all stamped together at the same time in four colors of ink and we just added that cute sentiment in the middle. Here is just the little mini turnabout on its own with a for you. And one of those layers, can you see that? It's gold embossed, Ooh, love that. Here is one where we did the embroidered heart and the sentiment right in the middle. Here is one where we've actually popped that center piece out, really giving it that extra attention. And you've got your turnabout there on the outside. And then this one is adorable. Look, she's um, Robin does all of our um, samples here and she went in and made this cute embroidery hoop and then used the needle and thread from our crafty turnabout dies. Isn't that adorable? Again, product coordination, we love it. Okay, we'd love to see what you stitch up with this set. Be sure to tag us at Concord and Ninth when you post your projects. Here is our new to the point turnabout bundle. Cacti and succulents are still so trendy, so we just had to create a fun turnabout with these images in mind. This is a split turnabout, which means you can use from one to eight colors of ink when stamping with the turnabout image. You would ink this half with greens for the cacti and succulents, and you would ink this half in fun random colors for the pots and flowers. We, what you should do is watch our Darling Petals Turnabout Technique video for full instructions on how to use the split turnabouts. I am going to show you though, it will come with its own alignment aid. And here's what it looks like when you stamp it out. Okay, so this is stamped one time using two colors. See how it's split? These are in green and these are in like a coral color. 
This is the second turn using two new colors of ink. So you would use like a darker green and this one looks like it's got gray for the pots. This is what it looks like stamped three times using two more colors of ink and four times using two more new colors of ink. So this is a total of eight colors of ink stamped four times. Okay, I just wanted to show you a little bit about the coordination of these here. So this is what it looks like stamped out, okay? Now it does leave this open space in the middle. You have options. You can um, either use, you take your little sentiment and there's this little stamp in the set right here that's outside of the turnabout um, and it'll fill in this space. So when you use this plus this, you end up with your sentiment filling up your middle spot. Okay, now here's another option. Instead of doing the sentiment, you can actually fill it in with a pot so that it looks like a complete full background. So you'd still wanna use those like little um, hash marks. And then you would use this little, oh, I guess that's upside down. This little cactus right here that's outside of the turnabout, it's on its own. Then you have another little pot and this tiny little cute flower to add on to the side. And when you stamp all of those together in the middle, you fill it right in. No one would even know that there was a hole in the middle. Okay, all right. Now let me show you a little bit about what the dies can do. Okay, so you've got this die that cuts out the cactus. You've got the pot, this cute little um, zigzag that goes on your pot. And then this little die, there's actually three flowers all connected together. And we did that on purpose so that it would die cut all three at one time for you and you don't have to run it through three different times. There's also this cute heart that fits on the pot. The word howdy in that fun scripty font. And then these sentiments that are inside the stamp set also fit right on side the pot. So you can decorate that and embellish however you please. Let me show you some projects that we created using this fun turnabout bundle. So here's one with the stamping and we just did the sentiment right there in the middle. It's quick and easy. Here is another one that is the stamping and it says, I'll get to the point, I like you. So cute. Here is another one that has the cute die cut as the focal point of the card. So we've just added the word howdy and embellished our cactus in the pot and have the cute turnabout in the background. Here is another card where the um, turnabout is just tone on tone. It's a nice soft background and it really helps that embellishment pop. And then here's another really cute one. Again, the same idea, just tone on tone in the background. And then we've added the word howdy and just embellish this one a little bit more. We did die cut two of the cactus. Or do you say cacti at that point? Anyway, and just fussy cut the inside one so that we could have a little bit extra of the cactus on the outside to give that two tones. So super cute. Okay, who's ready to send cards that get to the point? We cannot wait to see what you create. Introducing Hello Sunshine Turnabout Bundle. Not only is this a turnabout stamp set, but this is also a turnabout die. The set includes sentiments centered around the word sunshine. Um, note that when you purchase this, it will come with its own alignment aid so that you can easily do your turning and it will also show you what it looks like when you stamp it once, twice, three times, and all four turns. Okay, I'm just going to show you a little bit more about the stamp and die combo. Um, like I said, this is what the turnabout looks like just stamped all four turns in four different colors. And here is what this looks like when you do the turnabout die and it's die cut in all four turns. Isn't that amazing, that cute peek through? So I'll show you how to do this in just a second. 
and here's what it looks like when you stamp three turns and do the die cut as your fourth turn. And I have a really cute project I can show you that um, where we've got glitter paper underneath that as well. So you're just going to follow your regular turnabout instructions to get to do all your stamping. And the little trick with the die, okay, notice that there's a little plus mark in the middle of the die. All you need to do is take a pencil and you can either draw, a, uh, just lightly draw a pencil mark, an X from corner to corner, or you can just put a little plus sign in the middle of your card there. And then you just, every time you'll just line up so that you can either see your X going this way or the little plus, and that's where you know. So you started out like this and then you die cut that through and then you'll rotate your X until you can see the pencil marks again and then you'll die cut your second turn. Okay, so you'd go all four turns and you end up with this cute die cut peek through like this. Okay, some more things to note about the die set is this little circle cuts out all these cute little sentiments in the stamp set. You've also got this die that says sunshine. You've got this tiny little banner that the little um, these little sentiments fit on. And then you have this large banner that also has a stamp, so it leaves that outline. You can shift the word sunshine down and stamp these little sentiments. They both fit inside the banner. Or you can stamp the little sentiment on the banner and layer it over the top of this banner. And also note that this word sunshine fits right inside that banner too. So we try to get things to mix and match so that you can use them. And it also looks cute to do like sending a bit of and then put your sunshine dye there as well. So there's a lot of different options and it's really fun that we have a turnabout die. So let me show you some projects that were created. Okay, this one is just stamped and it's um, this is all actually uh, embossed, heat embossed with white and then we put that topper on. So you can actually do your turnabout off to the side, right in the middle, wherever you choose to do that on your card. Here's another one where we've done the turnabout stamping in four different colors of ink and popped the sentiment up there in the middle on that cute banner. Here's the one I mentioned before where we did three round, three turns of stamping and the fourth turn was with the die and we've got some of our neutrals glitter paper pack underneath there. So we just put that on the inside of the card, okay? So that you can see that cute glittery peek through. Love that. And I absolutely love the little fine line of that die cut, the word sunshine. And then here is a turnabout die, just it's all die cut and it's just a panel of cardstock on top of the white cardstock. And then all you have to do is simply put a sentiment right there in the middle. So one other thing I want to make note of is that we have deemed this bundle our next giving back products. If you are unfamiliar with our giving back program, please visit the giving back page in our shop. We donate to the sharing place, which is near and dear to Angie and Greg's hearts. Just know that when you buy these products, you are sending a bit of sunshine to families in need. Here we have our new faceted turnabout stencil pack. This pack contains two 6x6 stencils and includes two different turnabout designs along with three large greetings. Turnabout stencils are super easy to use. You do not need a jig or a platform tool, just four colors of ink and a sponge dauber. Let me show you how quickly this can come together. Okay, so all you need to do is get your piece of cardstock and then I'm just gonna take my stencil and I'm going to corner it down in um, whichever corner you choose. Just make sure you go to the same corner every time. So I'm doing the lower right corner and just setting that down like so. Okay, this is the turnabout design and I'm just gonna go ahead and start with my first color of ink and just quickly fill in these little faceted designs here. Now I'm just doing this quickly for the video, but you may want to take just a little bit more time and fill these in better. Okay, so 
So you get the idea. There is our first round of inking and you remove that and you have that design. Next thing to do is just wipe off your stencil with either a baby wipe or your chamois. Okay, and then this is where I was cornered the first time. I know that because I had the word, this word right side up. So then I will just turn it to the second turn. Go ahead and corner that down in my cardstock again and use my second color of ink. So I'll just quickly go in and apply the second color of ink. See how quick that is? Okay, so there's my second color, and when I lift that off, you see the design starting to develop. Okay, go ahead and wipe your stencil off, and for the sake of time, I'm not gonna do the third and fourth turn, but you do the same thing. Just make sure to turn it to the third, turn it to the fourth, and when you do all four turns, you end up with this really cool little flower. So here's what it looks like one time, two times in two colors, three times in three colors, and all four times in four colors. Isn't that a really cool design? Okay, so that is that stencil. And then we also have this all over background stencil. So I, you do the same thing, corner it, turn it four times, and this is what it looks like. Once, twice, three times, and all four times. This is a really cool and easy stencil pack. So let me show you some projects that were created using this stencil pack. So here is the all over design. And then on the stencils themselves, I mentioned that there were greetings. So there's this congrats along the top. And instead of going just the word long ways, we stacked the letters, which is super cute. Here's another one with that same all over pattern, different colors, and then You're Amazing is from the stencil right here. And we just stencil the letters. This one's really cool. So you just do your all over design and then use a die cut. To, we die cut this large balloon and then did the congrats along the bottom. And if you can see that shimmer right there, the fourth layer we did with Versamark and embossing powder to get that really cool gold embossing effect. And then here are a couple of cards with the flower design that comes in the stencil pack. So we've got hi there, we stacked that greeting. And then we've got hi there with your little design off to the side. And we just um, did that with white ink on black cardstock. Okay. These stencils make it so easy to create your own colorful backgrounds. Be sure to tag us at Concord and Night so we can see all of your fun color combinations. Okay, here it is, our full January 2019 new product release. We hope you're as excited as we are to use these new Turnabout products. Be sure to check out our new Turnabout page in the shop, plus each individual product page for more inspiring projects and how-tos. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and YouTube. Tag us when you make projects too. Use hashtag Concord and Ninth, and for our new toolkit, use hashtag Turnabout Toolkit. Happy turning about! Thank you.